Hello guys, welcome back to this week's episode of TGIF. Thank God it's forever. Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. This here is Chaplain Andrew to teach you the unchangeable and unfailable Word of God. Listen for this theme song and you'll know. It's me. Hello guys. Hey, welcome back. Sorry about the tardiness today, only because I get my computer scanned for any viruses. I know. i got to make sure things are good. My playlist had to be created, which wasn't that hard. And I'm talk- I was talking to my mom a little bit, and she does say hello to you all. And uh, I was saying hello to my mom for just a minute there. And we are going to be doing something real soon with Mrs. TGIF, so be aware of that. And... Be mindful in your prayers. And we can always hope that real soon, Mrs. TGIF can call on the phone and say hello to the listeners. So, how is everyone doing today? I'm glad that you are all here, that you all can uh, enjoy what God has given me. Hold on. One more second. So with that being said, guys... I'm glad you are all here today. I'm glad you guys can tune into this week's episode of TGIF's Message Show. This is the day, guys, where I give you a fun message from God himself. Not for me. I don't give you guys anything. Only God gives it to you. And if God gives it to you, then, hey, it came from God. So I can't go wrong. Unless I'm hearing wrong from God, which I very rarely don't hear wrong from God. I can hear wrong from God. I am not perfect. If I was, I wouldn't need God in the first place. Neither would you if we were perfect. I got me a nice hot coffee. And hopefully Mrs. TGIF can call us real soon and she can come say hello to you guys. With that being said, I got a quick joke for you, because, you know, jokes are always good. It's always good to tell a joke before we do anything, because laughter is like merry medicine to the heart, while negativity dries up the bones, the the Bible says. So, a gentleman walks into a local church, and he's speaking to the secretary of the church, the church secretary. He goes, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, he says, but can I speak to the head hog of the of the church? She goes, excuse me, sir? He goes, yes, can I speak to the head hog of the church? She goes, sir, if you mean the pastor, you're, you're going to call him the pastor, or else you ain't going to speak to him. And he goes, well, I was going to give a $10,000 donation. She goes, excuse me, just for a minute. Porky just walked in. <laughs> so I thought I'd at least make you guys, let you guys have a little bit of laughter. So let's do this real quick. My phone's going to buzz for me because I got you hooked up to the sound system. So that way, if she does call, then we will be able to answer that phone immediately. So with that being said, guys, how is everyone doing today? I am so glad to be here with you. I am glad you can be here too. And let's get into a few but brief announcements. Number one. You can always go to communitycloud222 at gmail.com, spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D-222 at G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. Again, that's communitycloud222 at gmail.com. What can you do there, guys? Well, you can listen to the show, number one. Number two, you can make comments with a free Spreaker.com account. That's S-P-R. E-A-K-E-R dot com. And just sign up there. I'll just sign up right straight at Spreaker.com. 
Wait, what am, what am I doing? Oh, what you can do at... Sorry about that, guys. My mind's going fog this morning. To me, this is this morning because I wake up at about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon because I work sometimes till 1, 2 in the morning. So I wake up, I go to bed when my wife gets home so we can spend the time together sleeping. And uh, so I get up at 3, 4 in the afternoon because I don't go to bed till like 6 in the morning. So with that being said, what can you do at communitycloud222 at gmail.com? Well, you can send me all your prayer requests. Even if you just want me to shout out to you on the podcast, send me your first name your city, and your state. And guess what I'll do? I'll shout out to you on TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. Also, let you be aware, guys, that you guys can call us here at TGIF at 1-302-448-8443. Again, that's 1-302-448-TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely and ultimately come first. Be aware, we're going to be doing this all over again this week. Coming up is going to be Outside the Classroom Wednesdays, where, and I created this idea, where we will be thinking outside the classroom each and every day. Now, how's it go again, Lord? Where we'll be doing Outside the Classrooms, Wednesday, Outside the Classroom Wednesdays, where we'll be thinking outside the classroom to those who need the gospel each and every day. So there you go. And we're doing that each and every Wednesday. And it's just, it's nothing that drastic. It's my Bible study teacher. I've been recording him lately. Uh, Pastor John, those of you who are not new to the show and know who he is, knows him. But I've been recording Pastor John now that he's grieving over the loss of his wife, which is pray for him, which is good. You need to grieve. There is a scripture in the word that says that there's a time to mourn and a time to rejoice. So there's a time in everything, a time and place for everything under the sun. Time to time to rejoice and a time to mourn. So he is mourning right now over the loss of his wife, and we need to keep him in prayers. Lord, let's pray real quick. We come before you, Lord, and we ask you to give him peace. Give him a peace that comes all understanding, and let him know, Lord, that his wife loved you, and his wife did make, as far as I know, Lord, his wife did make it to heaven. So let him know, Lord, that she is there. Let him know that she still loves him, but that she loves you even more and that she's doing what she was designed to do, to worship you and you alone. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So Lord, so guys, there you go. We prayed for him. Thank you for praying with me. And yeah, his wife loved God. I mean, she loved God to a T. There was not a time in her life when she did not at any point like my grandma did don't forgot who God was. My grandma loved God too, but my grandma, when she got her dementia and got old, uh, started not knowing who God was. Because I would ask her questions like, now, do you know who Jesus is, grandma? She'd say, yeah. And then she'd think it's one of her uh, her grandchildren or something. She never, she never really knew who Jesus was. Or she'd say, yeah. And then she'd just be quiet for me and start thinking, like, who's Jesus? And she had that look on her face like she was confused. <coughs> so with that being said, guys, sorry about the cough. So pray for him to uh, recover and mourn over his wife. He'll be coming back soon, so we'll be recording him next year. In December, though, be aware, we won't have uh, the means of doing the outside the classroom Wednesdays, but I got an idea. I'm probably going to take what Evangel's been doing Download that from YouTube into an MP3 and then start playing that. Uh, start playing their Bible study on the uh, on the outside of the classroom Wednesdays. So I'm going to do that as well because I don't have one. So I figured the next best option would be to start uh, recording Evangel's Bible studies for about a month because I don't got nothing until next year. And next year is when everything's going to start back up for the electives in church. And then we'll go back to Portage Community Chapel. But right now i got to fill in the gap when December comes around. So with that being said, I also want you to be prayerful and be aware that we are going to start worship. Saturdays again this week we'll be doing our next episode of our second episode of Worship Saturdays. Today is the official second episode of TGIF, The Message Show. This Wednesday is going to be the second episode of Outside the Classroom Wednesdays. And the third 
is going to be our second episode of the Worship Saturdays. Now, it's not our official second episode. It's just the second episode of when I was in the hospital and not feeling good. Because, you know, when you're in the hospital, you're not feeling good. Yeah, there's a, a lot that needs to be done, taken care of, and all that fun little stuff. So that way, you can be back to the business of doing the show. I'm not saying that this is a full-fledged business because it's not a business at all. I don't make money off you guys. I mean, I make money through ads and stuff, but I, I don't use those as business as business money. I use that. I put that back straight into the podcast. I put it straight back into the podcast because it, it's just it's ministry. It's not where I make money from the ads and then I go out and buy junk. I'm not like that. When I'm when I'm doing ministry, it goes back into the ministry. Whether it goes back to help pay for the speaker time that I have, which is twenty five bucks a, a month, it's going to be that soon. It's like fourteen fifteen now. But when it goes to the uh, actually it's twenty five a month, and then it's going to go to fifty dollars a month. So I put whatever I make back into that. Or if I need new adapters, I put it into that, and I buy me new adapters from you know Walmart, Myers, or whatnot. Because I just got some from. Uh, office Depot, Office Max here in my Ravenna area. Well, actually, Stowe, because they're going out of business, and uh, I bought like three of them, less than a less than two dollars a piece. They're a dollar sixty each, which is a good deal because headphone splitters are normally five, six, seven dollars, sometimes ten, depending on if they're gold tipped or not. Sometimes they can be up to like ten dollars. These uh, these uh headphone splitters and they're not cheap they're cheap to make and they're cheap looking but they're not cheap to buy so i bought three of them less than a dollar six less than two dollars a piece a dollar sixty each so praise god but all of them and i'll let you know if i decide to do something with my money other than ministry but nine times out of ten i will not you know unless there's a, a grave emergency where we need to go grocery shopping or we need to cuz all that stuff car stuff when it needs fixing comes out of my regular work check grocery comes out of work check anything else even pleasures that I do comes out of work check so but if we need to for whatever reason and I need to spend some money out of podcast money or out of ministry money then I'll have to and I'll let you know ahead of time or let you know when I'm doing it or what not. Because I want to be transparent. Because we are going to become a full-fledged nonprofit organization real soon. Like within the next month or two, we'll be a full-fledged business. But I don't want to... I want to be transparent before, during, and even after. Well, there's always no after, but before and during. So beforehand, I want to be as transparent as I can with you guys because once I become a business, I want you to have trust in this in this nonprofit organization, this podcast I've been doing, to where we can still have that trust so you know that I'm going to be an open book. So if, if the government ever decides to want to audit me and ask me how much money I make, I'll show them. I'll let them know where it goes to. And with that being said, I will have to keep a log of everything that I do. So... In retro aspect, I got to keep a log of everything that I make and then where it goes, which is another fun thing to do. So I'm going to be doing that as well. We're going to become a nonprofit organization to where we don't make profit off of what we do. We accept donations, which means you can donate to the ministry all you want to. And then we use that for either charity or ministry purposes to begin with once we receive those funds. So it's like if you decide you want to give to us and then we give it, say, to the Portage Haven of Portage County because my church is opening up a homeless shelter, then we'll do so. But if you give us money and we want to use it for ministry, like, say, put some money down for the podcast or whatnot, buy some new adapters, get an upgrade to a to the Chromebook I got, to a computer or whatnot, whatever the case is, whatever that case is, Anything we do, we'll leave, we'll jot it down. We'll make sure we know where it's going, where it's going, where it's not going. 
That way we can be as transparent as we can because 